Lesson 7. Vayangas. Vayangas. And he made. Vayangas. Here, s is to be distinguished, told apart from sh, the dots on the other side. So, vayangas. Here we have va with the dagish, which is in the yud, just as we have in vayomer and vayikra and Vayar. The root is nga sa, he made. Nga sa. The future is yang a se. Yang a se. And this is a shortened form of yang a se with a vai, with the dagish forte. Vayangas. Ha ra kiang. This is a hidden patach, a furtive patach, just like in ruach. And so this kiang is one syllable. Um, this is the only proper vowel. And these two here. So ha ra kiang. The expanse, the ferment, the Partition the division, however you want to translate it. The article is ha followed by a dagish forte, but since the expands would be would be har ra kiang, but the resh rejects the dagish forte. We can't put a dagish forte into a resh. So what happens is this: that would have given us a long syllable har or a heavy syllable har and then the ra, but we don't have that option. So we want to make the first syllable heavy, and what happens is that the vowel is lengthened to compensate, to make it heavy. Ha, ra, kiang. Um, basically, because this is now an open syllable, not closed. And so by that rule as well, we end up with a long um, vowel. So not ha ra kiang, but ha ra kiang. Because an open syllable that's not stressed will take the long vowel. And there's a secondary accent, um, which is written on the second syllable before the tone. We have accent marks here above the kuf and the ngayin, and these mark the end of a section. We only have this when a verse has got three sections. Asher, only one proper vowel here. Asher, so one syllable. Which, this is a compound shwa of the schwa attached to the patah and it's a very short a. This is a very short e. So asher. It's only half a vowel as I just said and so it does not form a syllable. Asher is the relative pronoun in grammar. It doesn't change regarding gender or number. It's always the same. Asher. Mit ta hat. Mit ta hat. From under. This is an abbreviation of min ta hat. And so we have the n disappearing here. And this consonant is doubled. As you can see it here in the English transliteration. Mit ta hat. So the final letter of the n is assimilated in. And this assimilated letter is represented by the dagish forte here. So the n is replaced by a t. And then the t is repeated again for the next syllable. 
the point in the Dagis Forte, uh, the point is a Dagis Forte because it follows after a vowel. And that tells us it's Dagis Forte, which means it's doubled because it follows a vowel, a full vowel. In this case, the point is also a Dagis Lene because the sound doubled is T mit tah chat. So for the second syllable it counts as a dagish lenne and for the first syllable as the dagish forte. La ra kiang to the expanse of the firmament. La ra kiang. So ra kiang expanse or firmament or division or barrier. Ra kiang. Ha ra kiang. The expanse. Ha ra kiang. La ra kiang. To the expanse. La ra kiang. And the la ra kiang. And to the expanse. The la ra kiang. Mengal. Mengal. From upon. Two vowels here, this one and this one. Me ngal from upon. This is um, a contraction of min al, but the n of the min assimilates its final consonant and so um, it disappears. But ayin does not take the dagish forte, and so you can't have a dagish forte here. So this here. Um, would have a short vowel, but it's an open syllable, and so it um, goes from e to e, giving it weight. So me ngal, vayehi hen, vayehi hen, and it was thus, and it was so. Vayehi hen. Here we have the meteg, so we have secondary stress um, on the second syllable before the tone. One, two. And here the meteg um, is called the siluk, it's marking the end of the verse. Vayehi hen. Shamayim, Shamayim, the heavens. And here it's got the etrach, so it's um, got this um, length here because it's in pause, because this is like a semicolon. So there's a under the m instead of a, as we see here, Shamayim, because in pause the etrach is like the end of a sentence. Um, it's the second strongest accent after the siluk and it functions as a pause and so the vowel is lengthened at that point giving weight to the word and sheni second sheni some observations the patach furtiv um, which we saw at the end um, um, under the ayin or in ruach is a transition sound um, to make things flow more easily does not form a syllable the he of the article that's the is elided it slides away into the sound after the preposition l and b and so the he disappears the position from is min, but the n is often assimilated, disappears, and is represented instead by the consonant afterwards being doubled, taking the place of the n, and the dagish forte tells us that's happening. However, if the following letter does not take a dagish forte, for example, hit or ayin, then the e is given more weight, and it becomes e, because that syllable, of course, remains open and it's unaccented and so the vowel has to be lengthened. 
The naturally long O in Hebrew doesn't change. O. Where a verse has got two sections, the end of the first section, the end of the first is marked uh, by this, and then the second section by the, if you're going backwards, you're starting at the end of the verse going towards the front, and then you have the etanach. If there are three sections, the third section is marked by segolta, these three dots on top. Segolta, and um, in the use of accents, we look at the end of the verse first and move back towards the beginning when we are assigning them. Vocabulary. Asher. Asher. Who or which? Asher. By young us. And he made. By young us. Yam. See. Yam. Keen. So. Keen. Min, from, min, ngasa, he made, ngasa, shalah, he sent, shalah, sheni, second, sheni, tahat, under, tahat.